So if the rumors hold true, in just a few short weeks, Samsung should be unveiling the brand new Galaxy Note 7. That's right, Note 7. And you're probably wondering, wait a minute, shouldn't this be the Galaxy Note 6, considering that the Note 5 just came out last year? Well, actually, there's already been six versions of the Galaxy Note within the Galaxy Note family. You can start off with the Galaxy Note 1, the original, the OG that came out, that originally was only gonna have an international release, and we basically had to beg to get it even here in the US. And when it came to the US, it was actually exclusive to AT&T. And then we had the Galaxy Note 2, which I felt this sort of redefined sort of shape and design. It came a little bit more candy bar style, not so fat. It was still, still a fat phone, but it was more sort of slick and a little bit more candy bar style, like I said. And this is sort of design that Samsung sort of stuck with and just sort of redefined over time. Because then we get to the Galaxy Note 3, which I really like this. This is the Note that pretty much got me to start using the Note as my main phone. Got a little bit slimmer, a little bit sleeker there with it. It became a little more pocketable, better to hold in, in the hand. I think the Note 3 is really where they started to really find their niche. And then the Note 4 came out, which is personally my favorite of the Galaxy Note devices. I really like the design, the look, the feel. It was very, very unique. Not something that you saw in other devices. And it was, I think, the one that I think a lot of people probably started off getting their first Note was probably a Note 4. Now, this is the Note that you're probably forgetting because when they announced the Note 4, they also announced the Note Edge. And it seems like they were kind of sort of start a new Note Edge family here with this. The Note Edge had that nice sort of um, the deep edge right on the right side of the phone that you can actually add shortcuts and do different things with. It was pretty cool, very unique at the time. And it's something that they didn't really add a sequel to, but this is a part of the Note family. And then last year, obviously we got the Note 5, which had the all glass, metal and glass design. The materials and builds and sort of improved there with that. Came slicker and a little bit sleeker. And that's the Note 5. Now, you can see there we've had six iterations, so it kind of makes sense that now we're getting the Galaxy Note 7. And Samsung also sort of wants to match up the numbering as, again as well too. So you have the you know, Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, and now you have the Note 7. So all the numbering matches up a little bit better. And if you noticed, the Note 7 is kind of close together, sort of all one word. It's got Note and 7, there's no space between that. Similar to how you see the S7, there's no space between the S and the 7. But let's talk about what the Galaxy Note should be coming with. The new Note 7 should be coming with a 5.7 inch quad HD Super AMOLED display with dual edges. So it's gonna be that have that dual edge design similar to that we see with the S, uh, S7 Edge. Remember to have a Snapdragon 823 processor as well too. Six gigabytes of RAM, a massive amount of memory inside of here. 64 gigabytes of storage is supposedly is gonna be the only storage option available. And the reason for that is because they're going to add back the micro SD card. One of the things that people love about the Galaxy Note is that SD card. It was disappointing to took it out in last year with the Note 5. In the Note 7, they should be re-adding it back here with support up to 200 gigabytes. Uh, presumably that they'll add with that or two terabytes or whichever you want to say with that. And then the camera pretty much is going to be the camera system that we've seen in the S7. So it's going to be that 12 megapixel camera, um, that, that, that really high end one there. And then you're going to have the five megapixel front facing camera as well too. USB Type-C is supposed to make its debut for Samsung off of this device as well too, with fast charging, which hopefully they'll have that. There should be fast wireless charging as well too with it. You'll have your always on display, which is a nice, nice addition to it. Improved S Pen most likely they're gonna have as well too, your heart rate monitor. This is also supposed to be IP68 dust and water resistant as well. And the colors, as you can see here from the photo, uh, that EV leaf kind of pushed out to here. So it's supposed to be black onyx, uh, silver titanium, and blue coral, it's supposed to be pretty much the main three colors. But one of the features that's pretty interesting is the iris scanner is one of the things that will be adding to it to the front there see so a little extra cam looks like an extra camera but it's going to be an iris scanner that's going to allow you to basically sign into your phone using your eye pretty interesting adding another biometric tool inside of your fingerprint sensor and now you have a iris scanner as well too Interesting, I, I think that's pretty cool to include that technology. What I wanna know is if they're gonna use it for other things, are they gonna be able to use it for, for a Samsung Smart Stay, some of the motion gesture stuff with it? Is it gonna be able to better track your eyes as you're reading down a page and sort of automatically move the page? These are features that Samsung had before. It'd be really, or they're still in the phone, a lot of Samsung phones, but it'd be really nice to see them improve that just a little bit more as well too, to kind of add to it. So I'd like to see what they will kind of do with this. Most likely we'll get the latest version of Android with this smart 
smartphone as well too. We'll also probably get that new version of TouchWiz that's been floating around for a little bit as well too. So we'll probably get some of the refinements coming out of here with the Note uh, 7 here. But that's the numbers right now. It sounds like this is gonna be a beast of the phone, but it seems like it's kind of positioned where before the Galaxy Note was sort of the power user phone and where sort of uh, sort of every phone that Samsung put out sort of caught up the next year after that. It seems like now what they're doing is that the S7 and, and specifically the S7 Edge seem to be the, the, the series that's sort of leading the way and now the Note's sort of catching up here to it. But uh, there's rumors uh, that the event should, there should be a launch of it happening on August 2nd. They've be already seen sort of a leaked flyer out for that. So it's supposed to be happening in New York City. So we'll see, it's gonna be a little bit before IFA obviously, so we'll see if that happens. Rumors that the actual official launch date for when you can go buy one will be probably a couple weeks after that. Typically, that's what it is for Samsung, so we'll see when we'll see what that ha when that happens. We'll definitely be there when the announcement happens, giving you all that live coverage. So let me know what you think below about the new Samsung Galaxy Note 7, if that's the official name that's gonna be. This is all obviously rumors, of course, but probably pretty viable. You think this is enough? Has this got you interested in what they're gonna be bringing? Do you wanna see maybe another fabulous come on, be a little something more interesting coming from somebody else? Let me know your thoughts on here. So post them below. Also be sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here. Connect with us on our social networks. Share our video all around if you want to as well too. The link to all of our networks and our main website are in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.